Okay, this is our mixing head for the head pressure forming machine. You can see this one is for lifting the mixing head. So uh, if you need to higher, you can, um, you can lift this head. This is the injection buttons. For this one, it's E-stop. Yeah. You can see this one. If there is something urgent, you can press on this e-stop emergency stop button. And for this one is for injection. You can you can choose for injection. It should be like, uh, like this. And if you wanted to start the injection, press on this green button. Also, our machine. If you wanted to move forward or backward. Here's the button. This for the left part it's forward. For the right part it's backward. Okay. okay. Now let's look at our high pressure forming machine for the whole body. This is arm um, for rotation arm. It can rotate for uh, 180 degrees. This arm length is around 2.5 meters. And these hoses are around four, 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 four or six meters. This is a con control cabinet box. This is cement, cement brand. You can also look at inside. These are all famous brands. You, you can see this is Schneider, very fa very famous G Germany brand. Yes, very famous. Yeah. yeah. These are all our electronics. And here we look at the uh, motor and the metering pump. This is a metering pump. This is a motor. For metering pump, it's used for uh, calculating the accuracy of the material. For example, we want to inject the material for one kilograms, and this is pump for polio. And the, another side, there is the same pump for isocyanate. So this metering pump will will calculate. Uh, it will inject five gram, uh, 500 grams, and another pump will calculate to inject five grams, uh, 500 grams. This is a metering pump, and here is uh, the gauge for pressure. You can see these are very good brands and very good quality. Here, this is a filter from from the tank to the to, to the metering pump, the material should be uh, fil fil filtered. Otherwise, there will be some other materials go into the mixing head. So the, the finished form is, will not be so good. So this filter is very important. Yeah, and this filter, we have a mark here. It should be cleaned frequently. We recommend that you can you can clean every day or every two days to keep the material um, very very good and uh, to to remove the garbages. Here we come to our material tank. You can see this is a black layer for for insulation. Our tank is very big, even though. Um, the chiller, actually the chiller can both cool and uh, heat, heat the tank. But to keep the temperature at a stable state, so we will pack the, uh, the tank with a uh, clothes, this insulation pack. And we also rec we also have a mark here. There are two marks. Actually, this means the lowest the lowest level of the material you should keep, and this is the highest level for the material you keep inside of the tank. 
below the lowest level and higher than the highest level, uh, the machine working status will not be so good. So we recommend you put material below between between these two levels. You can come to see this metering pump, uh, metering gauge. You can see here will show the will show the levels inside of the inside of the tank. So you you don't have to go to the above, above the um observation part to to check the level uh, the liquid level. Just use this flow. Okay, to, to observe this. So this is very convenient. Here we come to check our industrial chiller. To save the space, we will install the chiller onto this machine to be a whole body of this machine. So during export process, we will pack the machine as a complete set to to be to to be easier to export so you don't have to install this chiller at your factory to save time and to um to to save your workers time <laughs> okay here we come to this part you can see there are many many inlets for 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 the waters come and for outlets for the waters out. Okay. So these pipes, uh, the waters inside of these pipes will go into this tank. So this tank is a three layer tank. Between the first layer and the second layer, it's the water and the inside. Inside the layer is material. This tank is same. This is for isocyanate. You can see there are two levels, the lowest level and the highest level. To, this is around the 20% of the material. This is around the 80% material. So this means we, we can put the material among 20 to 80% of the total tank. This tank is around the 250 liters. So you can put at least 50 liters to 200 liters. Also, we can check this, this one because the machine is new. So we didn't put the water inside of the tank. If we put the water from the chiller into this tank, it also shows, it will also show the level of the water inside of the tank. It's very easy to observe everything, to control everything. You can, you can observe your machine at, at, at every time, each time, all the time. And this is the filter for the isocyanate. You can see this is a self-cleaning filter. So, you just need to clean it. Uh, sometimes it will self clean. This is a metering pump for isocyanate. This is the motor for the metering pump. Okay, inside, uh, in the middle of this high pressure forming machine is the most important part. This is the uh, hydraulic station because our high pressure forming machine is uh, is driven by uh, hydraulic system so it's very important for our machine this is also the main difference from the low pressure forming machine okay, you can check we also have a alarm alarm light there if we turn on our machine, if the machine has some problem, either software problem or the hardware problem, our alarm will, will light. 
and uh, the system will show the alarming formation. So don't worry about uh, the high pressure forming machine. The quality is very stable and our and our technology now is very mature. We can um, provide very good machines to customers. We also have very good after sales teams to provide the good service for customers. Okay, here is a high pressure forming machine. Let's go to check our low pressure forming machine later. Yeah, any questions? Then I, we can. Okay, one more thing to 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 tell you is about this machine. Inside of this machine, it also have a mixer. You can see this motor is for the mixer. So don't worry if your material uh, is kept for several days. We 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 have the motor and the mixer for the material inside. After you turn on the machine, you can use the motor. Uh, and the mixer, actually the electric mixer to mix the material inside to, to keep the ma machine in good working status. Thank you, thank you, sir. Okay, here, here you see there are some lifting pipes. This is for um, inserting into the material tank. The material jam, sorry. We, after we purchase material from the chemical company, how we um, feed the material into such huge tank. If you, uh, in, if you feed the material into tank by laborers, it's very heavy, it's very hard. So we will provide the free feeding pumps. This is the pump, lifting pump. This, this is lifting pump. And this is the pipes. Oh, it's very heavy. Oh, it's it's fixed because this is a new machine we will export. But you can see this is the lifting pipes. And this is the, the motor. It's a gel pump. Gel pump and the motor for, for lifting the material into the tank. So if your drum is very big, because we know for polyurethane material, um, there are two different uh, package. One is very small, just 20 liters. You can feed it into tank by, by manually. But if you don't, you don't have the small drum, you only have the drum with 200 liters, you can use this to put this into our tank. To uh, into our material jam to lift it into the tank automatically. Oh.